Hello everyone. Oh, that was some bad voice cracking. Happy New Year's Eve. It is December 31st, 2018. Um, and so I just thought, you know, with everyone posting all of their favorite memories from 2018 and what they're looking forward to in 2019, what their New Year's resolutions are, um, I thought I'd just do a little yearly review, I suppose, of all of the fun travels that I got to do in 2018. So, as you can maybe see from my hat, I'm currently in San Francisco, so we are on our year end slash new year trip um, in California. That's not what I'm here to talk to you about today. So I guess I'm gonna start, we'll start kind of small and then work big. Um, so we got to do a lot of weekend trip traveling last year, which was great. Um, we started off the year in St. Louis, Missouri, which was my second time, both of our second times going, but it was the first time I had the opportunity to go up in the arch, which was unique. Um, we really just decided to go to St. Louis kind of on a whim, like we were both kind of feeling like the seasonal depression had set in upon the house. We were really hoping for some warmer weather and winter just really stuck around. So we booked our hotel like a day in advance and hopped in the car and it was a surprise for Craig actually. We didn't decide this, I decided this. Um, so we hopped in the car and just went to St. Louis and I think I told him where we were going like once we got into the car. So that's kind of fun. Um, we also did a Memorial Day trip with some of our friends to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Um, and that was a blast. We rented a cabin in the mountains. This was our friend's first time to Gatlinburg. They'd actually never even heard of it. Um, but us being in Kentucky, of course, everyone always talks about Gatlinburg, Tennessee. They're from Minnesota, so naturally, well, you know, we can't hold it against them that they didn't know what it was. But it's pretty much like a mountain version of Las Vegas. Um, but maybe with less gambling, I don't know. It seems like there's just a lot of the, the good tourist shops, but the mountains are gorgeous. Um, so that's really kind of what people go to see there. So we brought our doggies and stayed in the cabin pretty much the whole time and played board games and made really good food. Some other fun weekend trips that I got to do. So we planned a weekend trip to Lexington, kind of on a whim again, to revisit some of our favorite restaurants and catch up with some friends. Uh, I went to Michigan just a, a few weeks ago on a work trip um, that was, again, last minute, um, but it was an unexpected surprise getting to explore Kalamazoo for just a, about a day and a half time. Um, and I was really surprised by all of the good restaurants and breweries that they have there. And they have a really gorgeous lake town just south of Kalamazoo. So I anticipate going back there over the summer to enjoy some lake time and some delicious food. We went to Florida. So my parents just bought a new house in Bradenton. Um, so we got to go check that out over Labor Day. And of course it's gorgeous in true form with my parents. They don't do anything halfway. But really, the biggest trip of uh, 2018 was a road trip that we took through Scotland, United Kingdom. So that's kind of always been, you know, a dream trip for me and my mom especially. Uh, we're big Outlander fans, so I don't know if you're familiar with that book series. If you're not, uh, you should go check it out. It's wonderful. Um, it's one of my favorite genres, historical fiction. So I just think it's so interesting to learn about history, even if it's in like a semi-fabricated way, like these characters definitely didn't exist. But there's a lot of actual historical characters that are involved with it. So um, the storyline kind of revolves around the Jacobite Rebellion era, and it's just really fascinating. So and it's just really well done. So it was kind of like you know seeing the story come to life a little bit when we were visiting um, for my mom and me. Anyway, so but the my dad went and Craig went as well. Um, and for them, I would say the highlight was probably all the scotch tasting that we did. And my mom and I enjoy scotch too, um, but you know, that, that's probably what their big thing was. We visited a lot of distilleries while we were there. I think my, our count ended up being like 11 and we were there for just over a week. It was nine days. So we had one full day where we actually visited, I want to say it was four distilleries in one day, maybe it was three, I don't know, there was Glenlivet, Glen Farkless, Glen Fittick, and I feel like we did, well we were going to do a tasting somewhere else, but then we ended up going to a cooperage instead, and if you've never heard of what a cooperage is, that's actually where they like make the barrels uh, to produce the 
the whiskey in so um it was just kind of fascinating to actually see barrels being assembled and how quickly people can do it so I, they get them done in a matter of minutes giant barrels and you can watch them char the inside of them because that's part of the process um that's required so that the the liquid the alcohol can absorb the flavor from the barrel so it's just fascinating highly recommend checking out a cooperage if you've never been to one of those uh, outside of you know you know scotch and history the the biggest thing that left an impression with me there was at the mountains and the cute little sheepies that hike their way all the way up the mountains i just don't know how they get up there but they're adorable the scenery was just so gorgeous i've been to england a few times now and it's kind of like you know valleys and a little bit hilly things like that these were giant mountains and they had these tiny roads that weave like between the mountains and it's the only way that you can get from point a to point b and i mean they're just like towering giants on either side of your car it was just stunning so it was definitely not something i had expected i figured it would probably look pretty similar to england since they're so close but it, it was a nice surprise so i really enjoyed that as well and the castles there were several castles that we got to visit and the romantic in me and the the book reader in me you know likes to pretend like i'm a princess in medieval castles so that's always something to enjoy as well so so that really kind of covers the gamut of all the 2018 travel if you consider how many u.s states we got to visit um I know I'm doing this race to 50 challenge and uh, I didn't officially start it until after Labor Day, I think. So the only states that I'm actually counting towards my race to 50 challenge are um, Michigan, Minnesota, and Kentucky for our Lexington weekend. So, uh, but you know, it's, it's a little too bad. I didn't think of it sooner. I know I said I was gonna start fresh, but we've really, we visited, I wanna say it was nine states last year just through, through like weekend trips and if you count indiana because we live there you know that's like 20 percent of the united states already you know but that's okay i am i'm committed to this challenge and so we're just going to visit them all again and it's going to be great in any case looking towards uh 2019 obviously we're here in california right now enjoying um the san francisco city life and then in a few days we're gonna rent a car and drive up to napa valley I know this could technically count towards 2018, but I'm gonna lump it into 2019 since we already had at least three good contenders for my race to 50 challenge. And anyway, I'm still experiencing California, so I'm not gonna get a chance to write about it and publish about it until 2019 anyway. So I'm just gonna consider it a 2019 destination. But we do have some other things in the books uh, coming for 2019 that I'm really excited about. So uh, most most of them surrounding Disney World. So I have been to Disney World, I want to say 14 or 15 times. You know, I'm just a Disney girl through and through, and I actually haven't been to Disney World, I think, since I turned 21. So when I turned 21, we went down for a weekend trip and got to go around the world at Epcot, and I got a drink at each country, which is pretty much the best way to spend your 21st birthday. Tell me if you can come up with something better than that because I just don't think it gets much better. But so anyway, I think I'm long overdue because that's that's been about four years ago. By the time I get there again, it'll be four full years. Um, so I think I'm due. Although there was a trip to Disneyland in between there. So the Disney nerd in me was satisfied just a little bit, but there's just nothing like Disney World in my opinion. So I'm really excited to be heading back. We've got two trips planned to Disney World in 2019. So the first one is in March. It will be just me and my mom, who is pretty much my Disney partner in crime. I definitely credit her with how much I love Disney, considering she was always the one taking me to Disney as a child and still taking me to Disney as a 20 something year old. So this is gonna be a mom and daughter trip. We are staying on site for the first time since I was in like fifth grade. So I'm totally excited about this. We're staying at the Disney Port Orleans Riverside Resort, which I think is gonna be fantastic. And we are gonna be there for the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival, which is something that I've never been to before. I've never really like been that into gardening, but I've been doing a lot of research and they do a lot of food vendors similar to like food and wine festival around the world at Epcot. And I just love eating. And so anything that involves good food, special food, I am down to go check it out. Plus I hear the 
the topiaries are pretty cool looking with all the Disney characters. So it's definitely an experience I'm looking forward to. But I did mention Food and Wine Festival and I've actually never been to that either. So lo and behold, we're going to that as well in 2019. Um, we are going over Labor Day weekend and this is gonna be a full family trip. And I say full on, I mean me and Craig and mom and dad because I'm an only child. We're staying on site again. Um, Oh, I need to double check which resort we're staying at. I want to say it's the Saratoga Springs Resort, but I will have to double check that. That trip, we will be getting to go to um, the Food and Wine Festival at Epcot, and we're also going to be checking out the World of Pandora over at Animal Kingdom, which is something exciting for me because I love the Avatar movies. No one ever seems excited about going to Animal Kingdom. I finally got mom to watch the Avatar movie, and she's like, okay, I do want to go. So we didn't get to tack that on to our March trip but we will be adding it on to our fall trip. Outside of that, that's really the only part that we've got planned for 2019 so far, and as far as the things that are set in stone, we are looking at doing a, a fun trip to New Orleans over Memorial Day weekend uh, with some of Craig's high school friends, maybe getting like a really big Airbnb and uh, just exploring the city together with them. And then we're not really sure what else we're gonna be doing. I know Craig and I would love to go back to Europe at some point but I just I don't think we have the time to get that done this year um, so we'll probably just be doing some extended weekend trips so if you've got some recommendations on where you think we should go and spend the last of our vacation days for 2019 definitely uh, give me some recommendations I'm always open to lots of things um, in any case, I hope you guys are looking forward to 2019 as much as I am. I'm sure there will be lots of great surprises and and just uh, fun memories to be made. And now I think it's time for me to go enjoy the beautiful city that I'm in right now. Thanks for hanging out with me for just a few minutes. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. And I hope you all have a great new year. Cheers.